Hey there everyone, this is Aokal playing La Mulana 2 for one last time. Uh, so yeah, so not content with just keeping care of my notes during this whole playthrough. Uh, Joel Valkloss went ahead and gave me a menu of things to do in order to basically, you know, get the last few things of content out of this game. Man, this place is so full of stuff, it's just kind of disgusting. But yeah, and it turns out there's only one more app to buy, so I figured, ah, uh, might as well. You know, might as well just go through the trouble to fill out my entire menu. So yeah, everything I'm gonna do here, basically, I've got this menu set up of things to sample, to explain, and to explore. I'm not saying I'm gonna do all of it. But I'm certainly going to do what looks interesting to me. I forgot, I didn't look what price it was, the thing I need to buy, but hopefully I'll get up to 400. It's not a guarantee though, but hey, we're getting there. I hit something I didn't see. That's the mystery of life. Alright, I'm at least 400. So, like, I almost want her to despawn, because I don't want any, like, problems with bad warps while the fairy is around. I thought they were only like there for a minute and a half. Do you get a bonus for staying there if you're like discovering money? It's possible. What am I talking about? Going to the ancient play zone. It's that store that's under the lava. Remember that place? Thanks Spikes. You're the best. Ugh. Right here. Oh, jeez. I forgot just how much hate is this place. It just never stops hating. But yeah, whoa, I can go here and buy space capstar. There's only 300 buckaroos, too. There's less money than I thought. Oh, you got the Moai head with like little, little Moai shots. Like, it looks like the circles that you don't even sell, though, which is kind of weird. Uh, I lost so much health already. This is not part of menu, but apparently something can happen if you visit her like a lot of time. So let's do that. Uh, new message. Oh, I didn't see that coming. What is this about? That's weird. What about her bait? Yeah, it looks fake, but I figured that was just. The art style. No, yeah, it doesn't have hands. These weird little nubs. Hi. Did I... Did I interrupt something? <laughs> so someone has been insisting that I bring attention to Zelpud Statue's forehead for a while. Like, I've tried on my own. I've tried on my own and nothing happened. Now he's got a nice leafy hat. Is, is, is that it? Is that what we have accomplished through these trial and tribulations? Uh, let's find out if Zelput has an opinion on his statue. <laughs> what? Wait, so the statue is him? What is the relationship between you and that artwork, Zelput? This is weird. Uh, no, I don't want to hear anymore. Huh. Okay. Alright. Fair. So as much as I've... I've been, you know, saying that everything in this game has a purpose, turns out that the Soma here is not used for... I have Soma in, or... I can't tell. Yeah, so like, so as much as I've said that... Help 
water is the worst thing in the, in the universe. This does not have an actual puzzle reason for being. Uh, you're supposed... It's like another tool for something else. I guess I'll keep it around in mind. Like, my instruction here, like, literally, is basically, and then you yourself get defeated by an enemy attack. I'm guessing it's a fairy in a bottle. Like, my health is just too high and enemies here too weak, but I'll just keep it around. I'm pretty sure I died once while, wear while having it equipped, though. But it was being smashed in hell, so maybe, maybe that's the thing. Alright, for the next step, for the next computer program that we are pilfering from these ancient runes. Uh, return to my favorite place in the game! Truly are pretty lucky. Alright, so it's like way underneath here. You can go around, that's... I can... Yeah, you can go around. It took me a while to understand where I was, and the thing that we are interested in is this piece of I did thought it was suspicious, but I didn't know how to interact with it. Okay. So, tell me what I'm supposed to do here. Oh! It's very specifically... Like on the edge. If you if you line yourself up, it's not gonna do. Wow, that's that is mean. Okay, what am I supposed to do here though? Oh! Okay, so you go in here to hit the wall up there. And according to the instructions I got, you need to have the flame talk equipped. And that's how you get Miracle Witch! Finally, I can decide what fairy I want. Well, that was... Okay. Can I attack here? I can. It's really a per room thing. So I'm supposed to notice... Yeah, okay. Now that I'm told to look for it. Yeah, in the upper right, there's totally the... Lightning gear things from like Dark Star place. I don't think I would have saw this without specific instructions. And there you go. Get your laundry done with La Moana too. Well, that's just ridiculous. And with that, we got. I'm still missing one. I don't know where it is. Um, I guess it must be a not very interesting one. Yeah, like, I was told for three, save Skaptar, that, and... And the one I just got, Mikri, Mikri... Wait, no, Miracle Witch. I just got Miracle Witch, that, and that. So the, this one must be a star one? Well, it does not matter. I don't care. Alright, so... Red, red... Thing, never anything, never anything. Let's fill that up. And I was totally right in my assumptions. It is 100% a get a random key fairy at a random place type of semi puzzle. I am so mad that that, well, not mad, but you know. Apparently, Bobos's gimmick is that he tells you where, like, bonus objects are. I guess I never really... Well, every time I spoke to him, he was telling me about story things. And at some point, when I was, like, going back and forth through his room, he just went away. Like, I... he just left his room. So, that was the lessons I had learned about Phobos and his trombone. Key Fairy with the beautiful square. Oh, look at that. Look at that little twirl you can make. Alright, so we wanted to go to other hell. And, uh, it's, like, real close to here. That's not how you go up a ladder. Whoa, there's no music here. Is there supposed to be no music here? Dang it. Oh. It's right here? You're not even putting the, the key thing into anything. 
You you didn't put it. You, uh, whatever. Here's the spalder. I should go somewhere else that doesn't have explosions. Apparently, Spalder is a thing that I never got in the first Lamalana. Whoa! Look at that cool effect, though! Oh, it has a super rad shadow trail. But yeah, with a certain amount of irony, I, I never found that in Lamalana 1. Uh, I did kind of look things up about that game after I beat it, and it's another get a random fairy at a random place. It's- I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what a spalder means. But looking at the thing, it's on her, uh, her shoulder. Ready for shoulders. Uh, we gotta have this awkward save sandwich here. And that's it for gaining things. Yeah, I'm missing a store now if I can buy at a store. I really don't care, and I do not want to hunt after glossaries. I feel there's basically one last thing. Like, yeah, there's the different software stuff. It's fine. It's 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 a whole bunch of things. So let's do one of them. For example, uh, I can go in set two here. And if we combine... Uh, let's see here. Enga Musica and Beo Eglana. No, I already did that before. Like, that's in my... Right? Yeah, I already did that. <laughs> it's like there by default. That lets us to listen to all the music in the game. Alright, but there's one thing here. That I think would be a really cool way to end the game. Also, I read what the Soma does, and yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a fairy. Basically, fairy in a bottle. Gonna end uh, where I start the video, almost, kind of, maybe. I don't know. Hey guys, everyone's having fun here. Everyone's having fun at the place where everyone hangs out. What a meaningless statement! Uh, that's right. That's what we're all about here in Neglana. Alright, so this mysterious room with all the games and whatnot, isn't that place weird? Uh, and it's at not a place on a map. You see, whoa, we're outside a map. The treetop ain't a chamber. Let's play the Goro game! So. Uh, wrong pause button. Ah. What I want is Miracle Witch and Future Development Company, which I already had equipped. Uh, and now I can go inside these rooms, apparently. That's all you need to do. Let's go to Death Village. Wow. Okay, that is really cool. Please, you can't control the protagonist directly. Use the mouse, open, close windows and doors. Carry them towards the goal. Oh, that's funny. After King the original on Lana and Baskin Critic Play, that follow, we had to realize they earned it as a medium to sell their own titles. That's... that's very smart. Play on Mines for Control... okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So there's two shots there, and yeah, we see, like, the very frightened character there. Whoa, expand creation exchange of users during the stage. So wait, uh... Okay, okay. So I thought you were talking that about Lam Lam of No, Death Village. You wanted to have, like, a level editor and stuff. Uh... Alright, so... And it's the same combo for each of these. Rose and Camellia, yeah! Look at that fighting game. Slaptastic fighting game. <laughs> so you went the extreme other way around. Huh. Okay, all right. Oh man, a double slap mechanic. I don't know if the world is ready for that outside of Pokemon. 
Lonely house moving. Oh, you're losing all your stuff! You're gonna be so sad when you get home and nothing's left. Uh, the high moving truck and jump over the stuff that falls out. Alright. I mean... That girl's gonna have problems in general, because, like, they're losing, like, big pieces of furniture there. Like, that's kind of tragic, honestly. I love how it's the same type of life, Bart. <laughs> the La Mulana. You just style out in bigger time sinks, uh-huh. Alright. Hidden ending, huh? <laughs> oh, that's cute, though. Huh. Oh, that's cute. I like that story. That was fun. Hey, look at that. It's a guy in space. In the moon space zone. Oh, so asteroids, but with level, huh? With a mouse? Huh. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think it would be entertaining to lose control of the spaceship and have all the displays at high speed, but that's just me. Man, like, the progression through these is really interesting. The lessons learned. Oh yeah, I remember the description to that, and thinking, that's kind of, that's kind of gross. So here you go. Gotta flip some skirts and the curry master. This is an extremely demanding game. Like, do you want this to be your poster child, though? I guess that's just their brand at this point in history. <laughs> I... Rick, I, I do not comment. I do not say anything. Fair enough. Look at that game. Just completely different aesthetic. Bound shot. Lots of mouse movement games in there. I feel like the running lesson here is that they keep wanting to make short, simple games. Except something deep within them make it com make them completely unable to follow through, and they keep adding complexity and layers. saying much because like I'm just reading this and it's interesting like uh, the text speaks for itself pretty well two more future development company oh wow first commission project that's interesting so how is Lanisa experiencing this like, she's just there in a the hallway full of stone. Does she see this? The, the screenshot on the side? Uh... Huh. Game. Yeah, like, I was just reading. Like, there's nothing to add. I was just reading. Miracle Witch. You need this to summon fairies. I wish we had a date on each game's release. A weird... The thing that's weirdly missing in this retrospective, like, I feel like that's kind of, like, the thing you want. 
2D ARPG, okay, adventure RPG, I'm assuming. Like a Zelda type game. Hmm. So it's a Zelda 1 type of game, but with mouse control. Okay. What? The game's supposed to be one of your short turnaround projects? I wish you had none. <laughs> oh, this is all before the La Mulana remake. Interesting. Wow, so all of this is before the version of La Mulana I played. That is fascinating. And there we go. And that's the last big thing that I feel interested in showing off. This is it. This was La Mulana 2. I'm gonna go up to the thing. Actually, you know what? Let's do this in the classic style. I'm doing all game. Let's go in the water. Let's sit down for about a second. And that'll be it. This is Al Cow playing La Mulana 2. I love this game. If you want my thoughts, check out the description on the previous video. And uh, join me next time when I play something barely, very, very adjacently related to this game, maybe if you squint as a one-shot, don't think about it too much. <laughs>